Chit chat, Kit Kats. Well, just had my lunch. I ate half of it, and the other half I'll have for dinner. So what did I have today? I had asparagus. Then I had chicken. Now I had the already cooked and uh, shredded chicken that I got at Sprouts. So I had chicken, paprika chicken. So it's just chicken cooked in a little bit of olive oil and I just ordered new olive oil again today. This is the one I use, Thea. Um, it's really good, it's mild, it doesn't have that peppery bite that a lot of them have. Um, this is a little more fruity. Um, I really, really, really like the taste of this. It's kind of got a little bit of a buttery taste to it. So I always do buy, this is my go-to um, olive oil. And it's great for salads or cooking. Now it's, <laughs> it, it uh, you know, when it showed up, it was leaking a bit. So here's the package it came in. You can see it had a little bit of a leak through the thing, but it's fine. Um, but the Thea, that is the best olive oil. It comes from Greece. And again, it's it's my go-to one that I purchase all the time. So today, like I said, I made the chicken, cooked it in a little bit of the olive oil with the onions, garlic, and olives. Onions, garlic, olives with paprika, sweet paprika on it. So paprika chicken with the... Um, with the uh, eh. asparagus. So I ate half of it now, and I'm going to have the other half for dinner, so I just stick it in the microwave for a minute, and I'm ready to go for my dinner tonight. So easy breezy, very quick to make um, paprika chicken. And the other thing I got today was teasel. Now, I got the alcohol-free teasel. Um, this is, somebody was mentioning this in, but the Chinese version, Dong, what is it, Dong Kwai? Um, but I found it here. And uh, this one is supposed to be very concentrated. So I did get that. Was looking up, you know, some of the things that people have suggested. And uh, I did get that today. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, teasel. So, we'll, we'll see. Anyway, you know, got, got all my things. I had half of my pills this morning. And here's my other ones for later this afternoon. I'll have those with dinner. So, um, working on that. Oh, my goodness. Just so many crazy things going on out there in the world. and But the Republic Uglies, I mean, it's just craziness what they say. Um, the uh, governor of Texas was supposed to go to an NRA event, but he opted out of that um, because of this. And uh, he's going to... I guess, meet with the people at, at um, Ovia instead, um, rather than doing the NRA thing. But, uh, well, yeah. Uh, Biden's going to go meet with the parents there. And uh, really, we see more outcry coming, just people uh, trying to talk about it, breaking down in tears. Um, even the NBA, he was really angry. And when are we going to do something about this? Really, this has come to the point of, uh, you know, there is absolutely no reason that this should be happening over and over and over again, just to you know, secure these old white guys and this, you know, disenfranchised fear mongerers uh, about having guns, okay? 
Now again, we don't care, you know, have your handguns, have your rifle for, for you know, we're not saying take those away. We're saying weapons of war do not need to be in the hands of ordinary citizens. They just don't. There is no, no thing in here, no reason for them to have them. Absolutely none. Now, I did have somebody say that their grandson has one because they have uh, wild boars there uh, and they have packs of wolves and that type of thing. Um, well, okay, if somebody needs it for a specific thing like that, then they should have a special permit. Okay? But this does not mean that everybody in his brother should be able to purchase it. Now, it said he purchased these things over the internet, $2,000 worth over the internet. Okay? What in the world? So things really, really have to be changed. That's, it's just insanity now. Uh, anyway, oh, something else I found out today. Before I had my lunch, I had some, you know, and these are good ones. I had some potato chips done in olive oil with sea salt, okay? Um, those have to go away as well I, because I went out to make my stuff and I had hand cramping so bad I could not move my hands. I mean, literally, they were seizing up. So that's the end of the potato chips. I was hoping, you know, they were a little better than the wheat and the corn, but I cannot have these either because, I mean, my hand was like a claw out there. I could not straighten it. It was so painful. I was like, ow. <laughs> you're shaking. You're doing everything you can to get it to release, and it's not releasing. You feel like you're making up the claw here. <laughs> You know, so, oh, mercy. So, I cannot have anything that converts to carbs right away. That's what it is. With the inflammation that's happening all over in the body from the Lyme disease, any type of a carb that converts to sugar, for me, at this present time, is an absolute no-no. So, another discovery. But that's, you know, that's the way you work these things. And you continue to do um, investigations. Now, I ordered a few books. And uh, I'm going to check out those. But the one guy is really, really good. Um, one doctor. And he talks about uh, some people that have Lyme that don't get better because ha they have all these co-infections as well. You know, you could have three or four different strains of things going on at the same time. So if you're just treating the one and you've got these other strains going, you know, you're not going to make a lot of progress. He's really, really smart with these things, intelligent. Um, so I do have a couple of his books coming, but you know, a lot of it is so technical. Um, but I might uh, take and give them to my doctor at the VA, you know, turn her on to this guy because he is really, really um, intelligent. Uh, when it comes to Lyme and these types of uh, diseases and stuff. Um, so that's where that's at. But, oh my goodness, you know, so many crazy things happening now. We had, what was it, Ray Liotta just passed in his sleep? 
it's a good way to go. I wish I would go, you know, if I had a way to go, that's what it would be, go in my sleep, you know. But he was just gearing up, had a lot of stuff coming up for him. Movies and all of these things were coming in the door for him. He was engaged, going to get married, and gone. Okay, he was in his 60s. So um, that just recently happened as well. So we have a, you know, we have a thing. You just never know. You never know. Like I said, I'm living on borrowed time. <laughs> I passed my 60s now in my 70s. So who knows how long, you know, I'll be on this planet. But that's the way it goes for all of us. We're all here for a certain time. And there's none of us that are going to be here forever in physical form. Let's put it that way. Uh, we will be around, but on the other side, you know, we just, we just leave this vehicle, which we use in this plane of existence. We leave it and we go forward. We can still see everything that's happening in this plane of existence, but we just don't have the physicality of form to interact, you know, uh, in that manner here. Okay, we still keep watch on those uh, friends, alliances, you know, um, we, we still can do that from the other side, but we just do not have the physicality of form made from the earth, okay? We're all made from the things of the earth here. All the minerals and all of the things that are in this planet make up the physicality of form, okay? So that's all. We just step out of that and uh, continue on our way in spirit. Oh, mercy. So on that note, uh, I'm going to leave this here, take my boxes out from Amazon. One thing I have to do here is immediately take care of things. If I leave something sit, um, it piles up and then you get an overwhelm. So I need to put my plate out there, cover it up, put it in the microwave for later this evening, you know, go out, get my pans clean, sit them back up there, you know, take care of all these things. And uh, maybe lay down and take a little breather here for a minute or two because, again, I'm feeling like, you know, <laughs> on a tilt. <laughs> Maybe that's why my hats are always on a tilt, because I'm feeling like I'm on a tilt all the time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not fun because you feel like you're on a tilt. You feel nauseous. You know, it's just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, it's not something you want to... Um, focus on, put all your attention on, because then it just heightens whatever's going on. And when you're feeling, you know, uh, off kilter and nauseous, the last thing you want to do is feed that energy. Okay. <laughs> so you put your focus on something else uh, to, to continue to keep you in balance, you know, grounded and uh, go forward. Okay, that's the best thing you can do. Um, but to focus on the poor meism, um, you just feed that. Okay, um, because wherever you're putting your energy, guess what? That's feeding it. Okay, and this is not something you want to feed. You want to feed the element, you know, things are getting better, working on it. This too will pass, you know. Again, um, no matter what out the outcome, it's going to be fine. Okay? Because once you leave the form, you know, you're in perfect health on the other side. So, again, this is a thing you deal with it as well as you can while you're here. You do the best that you can. And you know that eventually, one way or another, it's going to be cleared up. 
<laughs> Hopefully it gets cleared up while you're still in form, okay? And so you work on things to get it as well as you can so you can keep operating in, in form in this plane of existence to the best of your ability, okay? And, and then you go forward. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave this here. Take, take these, uh, take my olive oil out there, put my plate away, get the boxes put out in the trash. And Missy May May was over there inspecting all the boxes to see there wasn't something good in there to eat. Yeah, I, yeah, I see you over there smelling, sniffing, because you smell my chicken over there. You're not getting it. <laughs> She's all, I smell chicken and I didn't get any. I want it. Don't you want to share your chicken? Yeah, I'm going to give you a nose kiss. I'm going to give you the kiss. Don't you want to share? I love you, Mommy. <laughs> hey, Sarah Heartburn, it's, it's not going to work. Okay, it's not going to work. So... <laughs> They'll try everything to, to get some of that chicken, but uh, yeah. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave this here, and we'll see you online. What do you have to say about that, Missy May May? Huh? What do you say? What do you say, girlfriend? Nature girl. Aw, loving. That's sweet. It's a loving. Yeah. She's funny. Sometimes some of the things she does is just funny. You pet her, and what she does, she does the thing with her tongue. She goes, <laughs> and you pet her. <laughs> and what is that about? What is that about? You are such a funny girl. You are. You're a funny girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. I know you want to be petted. I know. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she is she is an unusual unusual girl. Good girl though. For the most part. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> see you online don't forget tomorrow is hodica time and he did say yes definitely lena will be guesting there as well so it will be myself hogarth diane's tarot and lena from down under <laughs> okay hey hey quit pushing quit pushing troublemaker <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, mercy. Never, never a dull moment. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in.